And that would, could be fun to find aliens. That would be a new form of life. So we bring biologists with us, all right? That would be discovery. I love it. In a world where the mysteries of the cosmos have long captivated humanity, we find ourselves on the brink of a profound revelation. India, with its unwavering determination and cutting-edge technology, the hard work of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition, has made a discovery on the lunar surface that challenges what we thought we knew about our closest celestial neighbor. This discovery has given rise to questions about the intentions of space agencies like NASA and opens a new chapter in our understanding of the moon. Join us as we explore what mysteries Neil deGrasse Tyson revealed from India's Chandrayaan-3 mission and what NASA was hiding on the moon. You chose a place where no one has landed before, and that's the south polar region of the moon. In 1966, a pivotal moment in the annals of space exploration forever etched itself in our history when Luna 9, a Russian mission, achieved the first ever soft landing on the moon. This groundbreaking event not only marked a successful touchdown, but also delivered awe-inspiring panoramic images of our closest celestial neighbor. Luna 9 was far from an ordinary spacecraft. Resembling a spherical capsule, its design was both innovative and strategic. Weighing in at 99 kilograms and measuring 58 centimeters in diameter, the spacecraft was equipped with four pedals that served a dual purpose. These pedals, once deployed upon landing, ensured the craft's stability and unveiled its vital instruments. Among its cargo were a communication radio system, state-of-the-art solid-state radiation detectors, and a crucial thermal control system to manage temperature fluctuations. Most notably, it featured a television camera mounted on a rotating platform, providing breathtaking images of the lunar landscape. The images captured by Luna 9 were nothing short of mesmerizing, revealing a lunar terrain of stark contrasts, featuring rugged craters set against undulating hills, uncharted territory, devoid of human presence. These images were so captivating that they made headlines in the Daily Express newspaper after being received by the Jodrell Bank Observatory in England. However, Luna 9's mission extended beyond visual capture. It embarked on vital scientific investigations, meticulously recording lunar temperature variations from a frigid minus 153 degrees Celsius during the night to a scorching plus 123 degrees Celsius in the day. These measurements unveiled the moon's near absence of atmosphere with pressure less than a billionth of Earth's. Luna 9 also reported radiation levels, revealing a daily dose of approximately 30 rentgen. Luna 9 didn't stop at observation, it interacted with lunar soil. Conducting a rudimentary soil mechanics experiment, the spacecraft employed a rod to exert pressure on the moon's regolith, yielding a significant finding, a bearing strength of at least 0.4 kilograms per square centimeter. This crucial discovery indicated that the lunar surface was sturdy enough to support potential future landers and rovers. As all good things must come to an end, Luna 9's mission reached its conclusion when its batteries were depleted after approximately three days on the moon. Nevertheless, during its brief time on the lunar surface, it managed to transmit eight captivating images and invaluable data. Luna 9's remarkable journey paved the way for further lunar exploration, with Luna 13 following in its footsteps later that year on December 24th. This subsequent mission continued the legacy, conducting similar experiments and deepening our understanding of the moon. In 1969, a monumental event unfolded that forever reshaped our understanding of space and our position in the universe. This transformative journey began on July 16th, when the Apollo 11 mission was launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. As a crucial part of the ambitious Apollo program, the primary aim of this mission was to safely transport humans to the lunar surface and bring them back to Earth. This monumental task was entrusted to three remarkable astronauts. Neil Armstrong, the mission commander, would go down in history as the first human to set foot on the moon. He was joined by Edwin Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, who would follow in Armstrong's historic footsteps, and Michael Collins, tasked with orbiting the moon in the command module while his colleagues explored the lunar surface. Apollo 11 was a marvel of engineering and innovation, comprising three essential components. The command module, named Columbia, was responsible for the return journey to Earth, ensuring the astronauts' safety. The service module provided vital resources like power, oxygen, water, and propulsion to Columbia. 
The lunar module, known as Eagle, had a two-stage design, responsible for transporting Armstrong and Aldrin from lunar orbit to the moon's surface and back to the command module. The journey of Apollo 11 spanned approximately eight days, filled with anticipation, wonder, and groundbreaking discoveries. After leaving Earth, the spacecraft rendezvoused with the moon's orbit by July 19th, setting the stage for the next phase. On July 20th, Armstrong and Aldrin, aboard the lunar module, initiated their descent, touching down on the serene plains of Mare Tranquillitatis, known as the Sea of Tranquility. Armstrong's historic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, marked the moment he set foot on the lunar surface. Aldrin joined him, and the two spent about two hours conducting experiments, collecting valuable samples, planting the American flag, and setting up scientific instruments. Meanwhile, Collins continued orbiting the moon in the command module, conducting his experiments and capturing photographic evidence of the lunar surface. After their lunar tasks were complete, Armstrong and Aldrin rejoined Collins seamlessly on July 21st. Subsequently, they bid farewell to the lunar module, charted their course out of the moon's orbit, and initiated their journey back to Earth, successfully splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th. The significance of Apollo 11's achievements extended beyond the tangible. Scientists extracted critical insights from the mission data, revealing that the moon possessed a faint atmosphere, primarily composed of helium, neon, and argon. The lunar landscape was dominated by regolith, a fine dust layer formed by micrometeorite impacts over millennia. The absence of a global magnetic field on the moon piqued scientific curiosity, although some areas exhibited localized magnetic anomalies. Despite its predominantly arid nature, hints of water ice were discovered in the moon's permanently shadowed craters. Most importantly, the moon's age was estimated at approximately 4.5 billion years, suggesting its formation through a colossal collision between Earth and another celestial body. Now, let's come back to the present. In 2023, the world witnessed a significant milestone in space exploration as India initiated its Chandrayaan-3 mission. This mission was extraordinary, not only for India, but for the global space exploration community, as its primary objective was to make a controlled landing near the moon's mysterious South Pole, a region rich in scientific potential and complexities. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was characterized by its intricate design and ambitious goals, featuring three essential components, each with specific tasks. The orbiter served as the vigilant observer from above, equipped with eight advanced scientific instruments. Its role was to meticulously study the lunar surface and atmosphere from a circular orbit situated approximately 100 km above the moon. Accompanying the orbiter was the lander, named Vikram in homage to Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the visionary founder of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Vikram, more than a symbolic tribute, was a robust workhorse furnished with four instruments to collect data on temperature variations, seismic activities, plasma density, and surface composition at its designated landing site. Last but not least, Pragyan, the rover, lived up to its Sanskrit name, signifying wisdom. As it traversed the lunar terrain, Pragyan's two onboard instruments diligently unraveled details about the moon's mineralogy and the elemental composition of its soil. The journey commenced on July 14, 2023, with the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV rocket, launching Chandrayaan-3 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India. Nevertheless, the mission wasn't a straightforward shot to the moon. Instead, it engaged in a meticulous orbital dance around Earth for over a week, gradually building the required momentum. On July 21, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 entered the next phase of its mission by executing a precise translunar injection maneuver, aligning itself for capture by the moon's gravitational field. This maneuver transitioned it into an elliptical orbit around the moon. The ISRO team continued to refine the spacecraft's trajectory through a series of meticulously executed orbit raising and orbit lowering maneuvers in the subsequent weeks. Their goal was to position Chandrayaan-3 in an optimal circular orbit maintaining an altitude of approximately 100 km from the moon's surface. By August 19, 2023, this intricate objective had been successfully achieved. On August 23, 2023, following the intricate orbital maneuvers of Chandrayaan-3's orbiter around the moon, the moment arrived for the lander, Vikram, to embark on its ambitious descent towards the lunar south pole. 
Detaching from its parent orbiter, Vikram faced the formidable challenge of touching down on the lunar surface, akin to walking a tightrope. Descending from space toward a celestial body is a formidable task. Vikram had the critical mission of reducing its speed, which was initially a brisk 1.68 kilometers per second. Using its onboard thrusters, the lander meticulously decelerated, coming to an almost complete standstill. However, the challenge went beyond speed. As Vikram approached the moon, it had to make precise adjustments to its trajectory and orientation, much like a pilot making last-minute corrections during landing to ensure a safe touchdown for all aboard. Vikram executed this with exceptional precision, nestling itself between two lunar craters, Simpelius N and Manzinus C. This specific region was known for its extreme temperatures, dropping to a bone-chilling minus 240 degrees Celsius, and with sunlight being a rare commodity, occasionally touching the lunar surface. Following its successful landing, Vikram didn't waste any time. The lander smoothly deployed its solar panels, stretching out like wings after a long flight. It also extended its antennas, establishing a communication link with the orbiter above, thereby connecting with the researchers and scientists on Earth, eagerly awaiting any tidbits of information. Nevertheless, the lunar surface mission was only just commencing. After allowing a brief period for the moon dust to settle, similar to waiting for dust to settle after a gust of wind on Earth, the rover Pragyan was given the green light. Emerging from Vikram's ramp, the rover appeared like an explorer setting foot on an untouched island. Pragyan had a fortnight, equivalent to a single lunar day, to accomplish its mission. Designed to travel up to half a kilometer from its parent lander, the rover embodied autonomy. With onboard cameras and sensors, Pragyan possessed the vision and instincts to navigate the rocky and unpredictable lunar surface, ensuring it didn't stumble over obstacles or become trapped in challenging terrain. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission not only marked a historic foray into the uncharted territory of the moon's south pole, but also did so with remarkable financial efficiency that left many astounded. With a tight budget of just $74 million, Chandrayaan-3 showcased India's capability to marry cost-effectiveness with advanced space innovation. To comprehend the financial aspect, let's delve into the numbers. As disclosed by the former chairman of ISRO, K. Sivan, the mission's total expenditure was approximately 615 crore rupees, which equates to roughly $74 million. Within this budget, the expenses for the lander, rover, and propulsion module amounted to around 215 crore rupees, while the launch services incurred an expenditure of approximately 365 crore rupees. This efficient budgeting was particularly commendable when compared to the preceding Chandrayaan-2 mission, which, despite its unsuccessful landing in 2019, had a significantly higher budget of 978 crore rupees, or $96.5 million. When Chandrayaan-3's budget is contrasted with other international lunar expeditions, its cost-effectiveness becomes notably evident. For instance, Russia's Luna 25 mission, which aimed for the same lunar south pole but met with an unfortunate crash, had a budget nearing $200 million. NASA's ambitious Viper rover project, scheduled for 2024, was projected to cost a substantial $433.5 million. China's Chang'e 4, which successfully landed on the moon's far side in 2019, carried a price tag of around $180 million. One might wonder what contributed to Chandrayaan-3's budget-friendly success. A significant part of the answer lay in the mission's compact design. With a combined weight of only 1.4 tons for the lander and rover, Chandrayaan-3 was considerably lighter than many of its international counterparts. A notable comparison is NASA's Viper rover, which alone weighed approximately one ton. This strategic lightweight design reduced various associated costs, especially those related to launch and fuel. However, weight was not the sole advantage. Chandrayaan-3's financial efficiency was also attributed to its prudent use of existing technology. India had the GSLV MK3, its most robust rocket, at its disposal, a launcher previously employed in several successful missions. Moreover, instead of starting from scratch, the lander and rover for Chandrayaan-3 were adapted and enhanced from the designs used in Chandrayaan-2. Finances weren't the only challenges the mission had to overcome. The Chandrayaan-3 mission, India's third attempt to unravel the mysteries of the moon, was a journey laden with challenges, from liftoff to landing. It began with the monumental task of launch and achieving the correct lunar orbit. 
On August 15, 2023, the skies over the Sadish Dewan Space Center in Sreharig Kota reverberated with the power of the GSLV MK3 rocket, propelling Chandrayaan-3 into space. However, reaching the moon involved more than just speed. It was a matter of precision. The spacecraft needed to execute a series of intricate maneuvers, utilizing both its thrusters and the gravitational forces of Earth and the moon to position itself into the desired lunar orbit. The significance of this precise placement cannot be underestimated, as it was crucial for ensuring the ideal trajectory for the subsequent landing stages. But the mission's ambition did not end there. The objective was to set foot in an unprecedented location, the Lunar South Pole, a region suspected of harboring water ice and other valuable resources within its craters. Targeting the uncharted South Pole brought forth a set of formidable challenges including its rocky terrain, extreme temperature fluctuations, and potential communication obstacles. The Chandrayaan-3 team faced the monumental decision of selecting a landing site that balanced the need for sunlight, a stable surface for landing, and uninterrupted communication channels with Earth. As August 23, 2023 arrived, the world watched with anticipation. What lay ahead were the 17 minutes of terror as described by ISRO Chief S. Somanath. During this tense window, the lander named Vikram had the Herculean task of decelerating from a rapid 1.6 kilometers per second to nearly a standstill before landing safely on the moon. Without real-time communication or human intervention, Vikram had to rely solely on its onboard systems to make critical decisions. It had to adjust its thrust, analyze the moon's uneven terrain, and land without a hitch. In a triumphant display, Vikram achieved this subsequently enabling the rover named Pragyan to venture out onto the lunar surface. The rover then faced its own set of challenges, navigating the moon's dusty and rugged terrain, avoiding obstacles, and ensuring a constant line of communication. However, the journey did not conclude with a successful landing. The mission operated on a tight schedule, with just 14 Earth days, equivalent to one lunar day, to carry out its operations on the moon's surface. Within this limited time frame, the lander and rover raced against the clock, conducting experiments, studying lunar soil, and recording temperature variations, among other tasks. They also had the crucial responsibility of transmitting this valuable data back to Earth. The challenges were numerous, including extreme lunar temperatures fluctuating from a chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius to a scorching 100 degrees Celsius, unpredictable communication blackouts, the constant threat of solar radiation, and the challenge of efficiently managing power resources. A cornerstone of this mission was its dedication to researching the presence and distribution of water and other essential substances on the moon, particularly near its south pole. What made this region so captivating? It harbored craters forever hidden from sunlight, potentially shielding water ice a treasure for future human expeditions and settlements. Contrarily, parts of the south pole basked in sunlight for most of the moon's day, offering an energy and communication hub for lunar missions. With a mission this ambitious, the equipment had to be top-notch. Vikram, the lander, housed a lunar surface thermometer, aka LST. This device took the moon's temperature readings throughout the day constructing a thermal map around the South Pole. Such data was crucial because regions with low enough temperatures could be hiding water ice. Additionally, Vikram was equipped with a laser retroreflector array also known as LRA. This nifty tool bounced laser signals off orbiting spacecraft or telescopes back on Earth. This interaction wasn't just for communication. It allowed scientists to measure distances on the moon and delve into the mysteries of lunar gravity and its rotation. Then there was Pragyan, the rover, an explorer armed with cutting-edge tools. It carried a laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, also called the LIBS, and an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, aka APXS. The LIBS wielded a laser that could turn a minuscule amount of lunar soil into vapor and then analyze the emitted light to understand the soil's composition. On the other hand, the APXSS identified elements in the soil from oxygen and magnesium to rarer ones like titanium and chromium. Together, they searched for hints of water by detecting elements like hydrogen and carbon. But Pragyan wasn't just about soil and elements. It had eyes in the form of a stereo camera, which we can also call SCAM. This camera clicked high-resolution snapshots of the moon's landscape, aiding in navigation and spotting obstacles. 
More than that, it rendered the surface in 3D, helping identify the best spots for sample collection and in-depth analysis. The fruits of this mission were nothing short of extraordinary. Pragyan stumbled upon sulfur near the South Pole, an element not commonly found on the moon. This discovery ignited discussions. Could this signify the presence of water, ice, or other volatile substances in the vicinity? Additionally, Pragyan had its sensors peeled for hydrogen, a telltale sign of water. Vikram II relayed intriguing data temperatures around the South Pole oscillated between a chilly, minus 156 degrees Celsius at night, to a blazing 121 degrees Celsius in daylight. Such insights were pivotal in understanding how water, ice, and other resources could persist in these harsh conditions. In 2019, as India prepared for its Chandrayaan-2 mission to leave a significant mark on the lunar landscape, renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson expressed his excitement and optimism for the mission. He shared his thoughts with the world, emphasizing the importance of the mission, stating that Chandrayaan-2 was no small feat. It aimed to make India the fourth nation to successfully soft land on the moon, following the footsteps of the USA, Russia, and China. What set Chandrayaan-2 apart was its ambition to explore the moon's south polar region. Tyson's words resonated with many who eagerly anticipated the mission's success. However, space exploration is inherently challenging and filled with uncertainties. The Chandrayaan-2 mission faced a heart-wrenching setback when its lander lost communication with Earth during its crucial descent phase, leading to its unfortunate crash on the moon's surface. The world shared in India's disappointment, but Tyson's voice echoed encouragement and motivation. He wisely commented that space endeavors are inherently challenging and setbacks are not the end, but a nudge to try again with renewed vigor. Fast forward to 2023, and India was ready to rewrite its lunar narrative. Armed with lessons from the past and an undeterred spirit, the nation launched Chandrayaan-3. This time, the mission was a success, achieving what had eluded it four years earlier, a successful landing near the elusive and uncharted south pole of the moon. As news of the triumphant landing spread, Tyson was one of the first to commend India's resilience and accomplishment. He emphasized how India had achieved what it set out to do, carving a unique niche for itself with Chandrayaan-3's successful landing in the unexplored vicinity of the moon's south pole. This achievement was not just India's victory, it represented a win for scientific curiosity and global progress. But what makes the moon's south pole so special? Tyson, known for his ability to break down complex scientific concepts, provided clarity on the region's significance. He explained that the moon's south pole is like a gold mine for researchers. It contains craters perpetually in shadow, potentially harboring water ice, a vital ingredient for life, and a potential source of rocket fuel. In stark contrast, there are peaks that bask in non-stop sunlight, serving as potential hubs for harvesting solar energy. Beyond these resources, the ancient rocks of the South Pole promise a wealth of knowledge, holding clues about the Moon and Earth's intertwined past. Lander Vikram's mission on the lunar surface was nothing short of remarkable. It was equipped with a range of scientific instruments designed to delve deep into the moon's enigmatic nature. Vikram's tasks included monitoring lunar temperatures, sensing seismic activity, measuring plasma density, and gauging the strength of the moon's magnetic field. These experiments aimed to provide valuable insights into the moon's geophysical properties and its history. While Vikram conducted its work on the moon, the propulsion module, operating in lunar orbit, had a unique perspective on both the lunar landscape and Earth. In addition to producing detailed images of the Moon's topography, the propulsion module embarked on a mission to study Earth's atmosphere through polarimetry. This research sought to understand the scattering properties of Earth's atmosphere, providing insights into atmospheric phenomena and climate. In a fascinating twist, the propulsion module captured remarkable images, one of which showcased a potential lava tube near the Schrodinger crater. The discovery of a potential lava tube was significant because these massive tunnel-like structures formed by flowing lava are believed to offer protection from space radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeorite impacts. This makes them ideal candidates for future human habitats on the moon. With the revelation of this possible lava tube, the prospects for human exploration and long-term habitation on the moon took a step closer to reality. In closing, it's important to appreciate the wonders of space exploration and India's monumental contribution to our understanding of the cosmos. 
Neil deGrasse Tyson's spotlight on this discovery serves as a reminder that the universe still holds many mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and that each mission, like Chandrayaan-3, brings us closer to unlocking those mysteries.